Hello, hello, Geminis. Welcome to your love reading. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to take a look at what's going on with you in love. We're going to get the potential outcome of that situation and uh, pull some advice. If you find that you resonate with this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to join the, the family, please hit the subscribe button. Gemini in love. Let's get into your reading. What's, what's going on with you in love? All right. All right, one more shuffle. Okay. Gemini. All right, your underlying energy at the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, male or female. This doesn't have to be specifically a male. Um, tarot is gender neutral, so, you know, um, you don't even have to be dealing with a fire sign, right? This could be your energy. You could be in the energy of the King of Wands where... You are following your passions, right? You are becoming um, a person like a, I get with the King of Wands, I get this person who goes after what he wants, okay? He's very like driven, um, dedicated, you know, he has that type of energy. So we'll see why this King of Wands is your underlying energy, what's happening in love for you, all right? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, very nice. King of Cups. The Four of Swords. And then the Prince of Cups. Uh, I mean, there's love here. There's love on the board. I do feel like there are some messages of love. Um and there could be a very positive change in your life or forthcoming if it's not here already. Um, you do have a, I'm sorry, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here on the board. Um, but is it, you could have been taking a break from love, Gemini, after experiencing some disappointment in it, like, heartbreak you could have broken up with someone and you took a little bit of a break um this could be your energy we will clarify these further just to see but i f i do feel some sort of love here some sort of um like i want to send a message to a person and that may happen because you do have the will of fortune so something is changing and it will change for the better something that you that's more in your favor okay all right let's start clarifying let's see what's going on here clarify this will of fortune please the justice okay so that is pisces energy um sorry oh, i'm sorry this is libra Libra energy. Sometimes I get them confused. This is about, I feel like there things will become more balanced, more fair for you. It's like it's coming from a place where maybe it wasn't fair for you. Life was giving you lemons. Um, love was giving you lemons. And I feel like you things will work out for you now okay that's the current energy is something will begin to work for you things will start to um, be more balanced i guess is a better way of saying it why the justice why the justice card okay the queen of wands wow so you have people involved so there are people involved queen of wands aries leo sag um, I, I don't know. You could have been dealing with multiple people. Um, and whoever this person is, again, this person does not have to be a fire sign. 
Um, they could just be someone you find very attractive. You know, you look at them and you're like, they have it going on. They're important to you, right? Um, if, if something wasn't working out between this person the way you wanted it to, I feel like that's going to change. Like, perhaps you even want to do the right thing with this person. You know, you want to do right by them or toward them. You know, and if the if the queen of wands came out first, I would feel like this person wants to do right by you. But I feel like you want to do right by this person. Like, you want to do... You want to create a space that's more fair or... like equal, right? Like you want to honor them in a way. Like it doesn't have to be like you can switch the roles. If you're like, "No, that's them." Then it's them. Um, but I do have this I want to do better, and I feel like you will. It will happen. Clarify this King of Cups. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like there's love on board. There's love here. There's a connection. You're involved with this person. Um like you love them. I feel like you're in love with this person. And you guys had a connection. Like that's pretty clear with the two of cups. You know, like you could even feel like this person is your soulmate. Um, you know, like the emotion is there. Why is this two of cups here? Oh, eight of swords. But were you unsure about them? Like you're in love, but there's something you're not sure of. Or something you have to do, maybe an action you had to take, but you weren't taking it, like because you you weren't sure. Like this is like that stuck energy. And I say like stuck energy comes about because your options are not what you want them to be. So you're stuck. And I, I like to use a little bit of humor. I reference um, you know, those um would you rather, right? Would you rather, you know, lick this toilet seat or would you rather chew a piece of gum that was stuck under a desk? It's like when you have those choices, you do get stuck. It's like, oh, what? It makes the decision difficult. So there was probably a decision you couldn't make about this person or you couldn't like conclude something. Clarify this four of swords. Okay. Oh, yeah. I did, you did break up with someone. Your relationship didn't, like it, like, it failed. And I feel like you took a break after that. Like, you maybe just kind of stayed to yourself, just, you know, thinking, meditating, um, a lot of elaborating, you know, um, not elaborating, um, just thinking about the situation, but I do see that this relationship, well, you were, you were unhappy in it. Why the Four of Wands reverse? Why the Four of Wands reverse? Okay. Yeah, you were. That's pretty clear. Gemini, you were pretty withdrawn. Like I, I feel like you, you, you stayed to yourself. You spent a lot of alone time. Um, but I like that the hermit was your alone time. Um, cause I feel like you probably wised up, you know, you, you, you had a lot of time to think, um, you tapped into your inner wisdom, you know, a lot of meditating, I feel, and that's just thinking, you know, I don't know if you were like actually meditating, like. Um, what a definition of meditating is or if you were just in your head just thinking about everything going over everything that has happened in love okay. clarify the prince of cups the emperor okay so you may have a message for this person
with that Emperor Aries Scorpio energy. Why is the Emperor here? I mean, this could be like a spouse. This could be a father figure, a parental figure, um, some type of authority figure. Why is the Emperor here? Ooh, this could be a spouse, the lovers. Yeah, where you, you, I think you were involved with multiple people. That's what I'm seeing. And you had a, maybe this is you having a tough time choosing. Um, I mean, some of you, just to go back here, it doesn't have to mean you broke up, but you spent a lot of time alone. You probably came off very withdrawn, to, you know, toward this person. But I feel like you you want to come to them. You you have a message for them. You you want to say something that's been on your heart. Um, nothing too deep, right? Like it could be, I've missed you. It could be, um, you know, a, an apology. It could be, you know, just something like that. The Page of Cups just gives me sweet messages. Like you're not argumentative, but you know, you want to be nice to this person. Yeah, I, I feel like you, you have more than one person, though. But, but you are, hmm, let's see, what is the energy of that Wheel of Fortune? What is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune? Four of Cups, see? Yeah, I, I feel like you're probably in a relationship you don't want to be in. Or you were. And this is giving me you're not happy. There's, it's not necessarily a breakup, but you were definitely pulling away from this person. Um, and I feel like this is your spouse here, this situation, because this lovers is like you making a love decision that could be life changing. And this tells me you're, you're, you were unfulfilled or you are unfulfilled. And I think you want to make it right with this other person. This is not the spouse. And the queen of wands can often come off as the other person, right? Four of cups. I think you're having some regret. And I, and I keep saying that justice is like you want to do right by this person. Maybe you didn't treat them right, right? Because I think you were already in a marriage or a commitment of some sort. What is the energy of that page of cups? The judgment. What in the world, Gemini? What is happening? So... What I'm also getting, this could also be a thing, okay? You could also, like doing right by this person, like being fair to them, could be like letting them go or not lying to them, not being involved with another person. Because here it's like, I feel like you're trying to fix something with the judgment card. If not... You do want to be with this person. <laughs> I'm kind of getting both stories. So I'm sorry if this is confusing, but I'm kind of getting that with this side and over here, like you're making a decision. You're making a judgment call here. Let me just pull. Why the judgment card? Why the judgment card? Uh oh. Dang. The card fell. Hold on. Let me ask again. Okay. Why the judgment? There's a four of swords. I I feel like you 
I feel like you want to pull away from this person. But I'm not seeing you want to break up with them. I feel like I want to pull away. Like I want to take a break from them. What's the energy of that for? Sorry. The nine of wands. Yeah, it's like you're gearing up for something. But like something negative, something bad, something, you know, like to go to war, to go to battle. Like you could be preparing to break up with them. That's what I feel because I feel like your heart is somewhere else. I feel like you want to balance things out here with this person. Like you miss them. Like you're you're missing out on an opportunity over here because this situation is not happy. And I feel you want to be very withdrawn from them. Like you want to pull away. What is the energy of that King of Cups? The Tower. Yeah. Okay. We're going to, Okay. We're going to get the potential outcome, but I feel like this is about ending a relationship, like pulling away, but you're not cutting it off right away, but eventually you will. I feel like you're, you're gearing yourself up from it. Like, this is what I'm getting. You just kind of inch your way out of the picture or out of the situation until like there's a tower moment where everything changes and everything is shooken up. Because your heart is over here. Like I feel. Yeah. So, okay. So what's going to happen? What is going to happen? Very interesting. Very interesting. What is the potential outcome for Gemini in this situation? So it sounds like a little bit of a love triangle. Um, like you, I feel like you want to go back to someone. You have a big decision to make in your commitment or your marriage. All right. What is the potential outcome here for Gemini's love situation? The King of Swords. I think you do have a big decision to make. And you are like preparing yourself to do this. King of Swords makes big decisions. He, he cuts things out. Like he. Mm, yeah, like he takes control over a situation. But let's see. Clarify this King of Swords, please. Clarify the King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. Okay. So you will have some sort of communication. I think it's to break up with this person. Your spouse. I think this is a spouse. So you can go be with the person you want to be with. That person you want to, you know, do right by. Okay. Uh, why the Eight of Wands? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Nine of Cups. <clears throat> so what are you going to do? I feel like you're going to talk. You have, you're going to make a decision. And you're going to do make a decision that makes you happy. Okay. It's going to bring you this level of satisfaction like i finally said it out loud i i feel like you will do that like you're going to just put it out there um why the nine of cups the temperance yep i i know you <laughs> gemini i'm sorry cross watcher or whoever does not want to hear this but this this person this energy whether it's you or cross watcher someone wants to be with another person and they're not happy in their marriage or commitment or long-term relationship and they will do this in moderation like this is not going to be us just cutthroat i'm sorry like cold turkey this is going to be a gradual pull but they will like it's coming like you gemini or whoever will say this and you will move on to new love for sure 
you have um, a new person in your life and you will move on to them. What's the energy of this King of Swords? This King of Swords. I think that's you, Gemini. What's the energy of this King of Swords? What's the energy of the King of Swords? The judgment. I'm telling you, you will. You will make this decision. Like I've seen this a few times already in the reading. Like you have a decision to make. You felt stuck before, but you will make a decision to do what makes you happy, to go toward emotional, fulfilling love, okay? So what should you do? Like, what is your advice? What advice do you have for Gemini in love? What advice do you have for Gemini? And Whoa. Eight of, okay. Eight of Swords. Did I see that? All right, hold on. So you have the Two of Cups there. So, oh, let's see. I feel like when this comes out as your advice, you're not, I feel like you, you do feel stuck, but this card always says you're not as stuck as you think you are, you know, I'm going to pull some cards just to get further advice because, um, this can give me certain messages like. You don't have to feel stuck, right? You're not as stuck as you think you are. You can make decisions, but maybe, um, you know, this card is also a card of restrictions, right? Like maybe don't just hop in and make a big decision. Um, like if you're struggling, right? Like don't, you shouldn't be struggling to do this. Let's see. Clarify this eight of clarify this eight of swords. So there's a chariot. I think this is telling you you're not as stuck as you think you are. Like you can't move forward because I don't think you're happy. Why the chariot? The hermit. Yeah, like you can like you can move forward. Um even with the hermit there. Um but it's like this could be tell I mean it could be telling you to be wise, use, you know. Um just make sure you you have a good perspective or a good uh, let me see. What am I, what is this saying exactly? Why? Okay. What's the energy of the hermit? What is the energy of the hermit? I think this is just your energy of being stuck. Look, I mean, because you were, I mean, the eight of swords was your energy and it's your advice, but I think it's saying that you're not stuck. Um, but maybe you shouldn't make a move just yet. I, I don't know why, though. Um, why is this? Why is this Gemini's advice? Because the six of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. Uh, you you. Okay, I okay, this is what I'm getting because I saw you were kind of inching your way out. Like don't move toward the, that other person yet, right? Because your energy may not be equally exchanged with that person because you're still dealing with something else. I feel like you need to be fully out of that situation in order to start a brand new beginning. Because a part of you thinks you you know, you're kind of struggling to move on. And if you're struggling to move on, then don't go toward the other person. I'm kind of getting getting this with the chariot. You want you're trying to move on and move forward, but 
you know, I, I, you have the two of pentacles. That's not like ideal to start a new relationship with someone. Like the hermit could be telling you even to like be wise, you know, use your intelligence. Um, because the reason this is your advice is because of this equal give and take and this new beginning is there for you. But um, I feel like you're still juggling, though. So if you're still juggling, you're still struggling to get out, don't move toward that other person. Like, be like completely out of it so that you can start, you can build on something solid and new. Because Ace of Pentacles is giving me brand new. It's not giving me like a partially built foundation. It's like, you know, or an old foundation where I'm trying to like, you know, renovate it. It's like, no, we need a brand new foundation. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. All right, Gemini. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. And um, again, if you resonate with this video, hit the like button um, and stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos. Thank you guys. Mwah. Deuces.